So back up to the start for the second semi-final of the Diamond Skulls. And you can see on the left of your shot, Chuckle Borsch, the uh, incredibly fast Norwegian, up against Charlie Cousins, formerly of the British Quadruple Skull, now at Abingdon School, just messing around, so he told me, but uh, deciding whether to throw his hat in the ring to come back into international selection ahead of the Tokyo Olympics. Charlie's been really good in domestic regattas this year, but he's up against the big boys now, and uh, Chetel Borsch, well, he's been going really quickly this season. Kevin. Yeah, he looks really impressive in the singles. But he's done his time, isn't he, in the crew boats. He's learned from the great mentor, Olaf Dufta. He's had, you know, he's had that quite typical career, actually. Going on. He had some disappointments. London 2012, I think, was a big moment, not making the A final. And then coming through that, became world champion the next year. And then, of course, picked up the bronze in Rio. So he's been on that journey, and he's taking all of that experience now with him into this racing, where you need as much behind you if you want to become one of the legends in the singles. Yeah, and actually, if you're racing somebody with Charlie Cousins' experience, who's kind of doing, I guess, recreational right now, I mean, he's doing a lot of cycling, but he's, you know, goes out in the river three or four times a week at uh, Abingdon in between his, his boat building duties. But you kind of want to sort of put the Norwegian under pressure a bit early on. I think uh, Charlie's been a little bit conservative there. I did see him uh, race Alan Campbell and, and beat him back, I think it was in 2013, at the British Trials. I mean, he was just, gosh, beat the Olympic bronze medalist. It was a sensational race. Cousins not in that sort of fitness. He's got to decide whether he wants to go back to the Cavisham Mill and, uh, you know, return to that sort of level. At the moment, Chetel Borsch has stopped moving. I think the Norwegian, you can see at the top of the picture there, and uh, Charlie Cousins, 29 years of age. Well, is this race going to help the lure of Tokyo for him, Kat? That's the agony, isn't it? It's the agony. We've all been through it. We're all sitting. I stood at the qualifiers thinking, oh, if any are in one of these crews, we all go through that agony. At different levels of realism, it has to be said, that there wasn't going to be much chance of that last week. But, um, you know, he's had a real journey of challenges through injury as well. He's had some heartbreak, and you can only do it if you've got that 100% commitment. Sometimes stepping back is a really good thing to either come back again with renewed, refreshed vigour or to go, do you know what, there's something else in life. And I guess he's still in that midpoint of working out what stepping back is going to mean comes next. Yeah. Charlie's just moving away from the wash of Chetel Borsch there and uh, his, I mean he's done a 6.53 at Marlow which was fantastic, that was a lot of the Tokar gossip but uh, his uh, golden year of course was in 2014 where he was in the British quad, just lost out to the Ukrainians by, well not very much, the Ukrainians did uh, 5.32.35 or 2.6 and, and the British did 5.32.35 and sensationally fast time. He was the anchor of that quad in the three-seat cap, and then, yeah. of course, he had his back problems in 2015, yeah. missed the Rio Games in 2016, and I guess, you know, there's still a question mark, still a bit of hunger there in his mind. Absolutely, it's unfinished business, isn't it? You had those aspirations and ambitions, and there, were, there was good evidence that you could achieve, you could get on that podium, and when it doesn't happen, then you have to really think about, can you go again? And, you know, we all have faced the ups and downs, haven't we? And that is part of the sport. And, and Borsch has have, had his ups and downs. But, you know, he has had a great run now the last few years building and building. And, and now he's in the big man's game. Yeah, Chettle Borsch, the sculler from Norway, coached by Lars Johan Flodin, who's uh, taken a big team here. Lars Johan Flodin, the man who, of course, works with Johan Tuft, with Olaf Tufter, who uh, won that Olympic bronze medal with Chettle Borsch in the Rio Games. Borsch actually won his gold medal with Niels Jakob Hoff in Chongjiri in 2013. Thought that was a great skull because the uh, Rulian Strandley, the uh, Norwegian lightweight double, also won a gold medal in that Olympics. But I first saw Borsch when he sculled in the Eaton World Cup in uh, 2013 in Dorney. And uh, I thought, oh my God, what's he doing in the single? That bloke can skull as well. I know I shouldn't have been surprised, but he had sort of quite an unusual style, very low down sort of style of taking his catch really quite low down. He's a little bit higher now, I think. There you see a shot of Charlie Cousins, but... Uh, yeah, he's very compact, isn't he, Borsch? It's very effective. You can, it, It's well honed, very confident, very comfortable. And, of course, you know, there'll be an, an, an awesome match-up against the big man tomorrow ahead if he can continue as he is doing so royally down the course. Well, to be quite honest, I think, you know, the favourite for the Diamonds is Chettle Borsch. I mean, he came in in, uh, what, fifth, 
place or fourth, fourth place I think at in, in yeah. Leeds behind uh, Robbie Manson, Tim Olanaska and, and Oli Zeidler. But he was six seconds off, he scored 651. You know, I mean, that was a really tough competition. They had quarterfinals, semi finals, you know, heats, quarterfinals, and all the rest of it. And they had to go flat out in the time trial to get to the quarterfinals. So, you know, he can manage it physically. And, yeah, and his, his sculling technique's getting better and better. I see that. He's on an upper curve because actually, Belgrade, he didn't make the final, did he, in the first World Cup? You know, so there was a real difference from Belgrade to Linz. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, he's stepping up. And I feel like this week, again, it's part of that journey, isn't it? Because he knows he's going to have. You know, have a have a big race tomorrow. That will be really key. And then, of course, you know, everyone's thinking about Lucerne. Yeah. So we are in the semi-final of the Diamond Skulls, and we are looking for somebody to go head to head against the great Mahe Drysdale, double Olympic champion. It could be this man. It looks like it is going to be this man. Boring upset. Chetel Borsch, the Norwegian world champion in the double skulls in 2013, Olympic bronze medalist in that event in 2016 with the legendary Olaf Tufta and of course Tufta has had many duels with Mahi Drysdale, Tufta himself a double Olympic champion from Athens and Beijing where he beat Mahi Drysdale mm. to that Olympic gold medal so you know it's the uh, you, you can never go far from the name of Olaf Tufta in Norwegian rowing and, and this man knows Olaf better than most. Yeah. Olaf taking a year out, so to speak. Apparently. You're, well, apparently his year out means that he basically jumps in the Norwegian quad and races at World Cup regattas. <laughs> He's not doing too much now, but he will go to altitude training with the Norwegian team um, at the end of July, and that's when his season starts, apparently next season starts. So Olaf will be in training there. And, uh, we'll be going head-to-head -head against Chekyll in the single mm. skull and, and pushing him on. Mm. So, Great. Yeah. Part of a great Norwegian contingent at this year's Henny Royal Regatta, which has been really good to see. Across quite a few different events. Yeah, it's a fantastic uh, contingent to have, and uh, we are looking there at the umpire's launch, watching Chetel Borsch on the left of your picture. Skull from Horten Boat Club in Norway, and he is looking back on Charlie Cousins from Griffin Boat Club, because he had a school boat club. Cousins, still battling away. A little bit tight in the shoulders, but you know, you can be like that at the end of a hand of course, I think. Yeah, there's an agony now going on physiologically, and there's a psychological agony that, that, that goes on beyond this event as well. Absolutely. He has a little look for the finish line. The 29 year old Brit, Chetel Borsch, the 28 year old Norwegian, says, Well done, Charlie. Good race. So, there we see Charlie Cousins looking over. Decent start from Chettle Borsch, wasn't it? He mm. blasted out. Mm. Thinking about all the different parts of the race he's going to need for tomorrow. Great opportunity today to focus on the start. Calm, confident, 